Hi everyone, welcome to the video and thank you for uh, subscribing and following the channel. So today what I have for you guys, a very useful workflow tip for you guys to improve your beats and to just have a quick access to some drum fills. This consists of a sequence, okay? So I have a sequence right here and within the sequence here I have several tracks that contain uh, different drum fills. And basically what I do is I, whenever I'm making a beat, I just load up this sequence right here to the project that I'm working on. And then I'll have, um, you know, I'll have access to, uh, to, to uh, 40 different drum fills. So different rhythms that I can then incorporate in the beat that I'm working on. And yeah, and this will be uh, a free sequence I'm going to give out to you guys just because you guys have been so great you know you have been following all the videos and you have been going to the Bandcamp website and purchasing some of the packs which I really appreciate that from you guys so I think it's my turn to give something back to you and I'll ha I'm gonna put this sequence out for you guys in case you want to use it again this is just MIDI that you can use just copy the MIDI put it onto your beat that you're working on and whatever you want to do with them really it's up to you so it's free you can go up to my Bandcamp website and just download it straight from there now uh, let's see how this works and how I use it in my beats okay okay so first of all as I said I, ha I have up to uh, 40 uh, tracks okay and if you come here to the grid you can see let me just zoom out a little bit you can see that you know it's they're just uh, different rhythms here that I created and well the best way of listening to them is if you press on the shift solo the track then you can listen to them individually and if you don't want to browse through the whole thing if you just want to get that last section there uh, of the break at the end what you can do is actually go to the to the main screen just say that you just want to listen to those last two bars or to the last bar really it's up to you guys and you can just you know listen to that that way if again you just press solo you can change between tracks So yeah, it's up to, uh, there are 40 tracks on this sequence. So the only thing that you really need to do when you're making a beat for yourself, so you have your project, the only thing that you need to do is just to load up the sequence into your uh, project and then just, you know, uh, copy the uh, copy the uh, the MIDI and put it onto the your, your drum track that you're using. Uh, but they all use the same sounds. Basically the sounds here, they don't matter too much. They're only there for you to actually listen to the pattern, listen to the uh, to the track and see how it sounds and see if you like that. Okay, so um, you have your kick, your hi-hat, snare, open hi-hat, ride, the toms, and then the crash. So uh, I'm going to just open up a, uh, a beat that I'm working on. Let's see how how we can use this in in an actual uh, an actual project. Okay. All right. Cool. So here I'm working on this beat. Okay, cool. So um, I like the beat; it's sounding nice. But the thing is that it, the the beats now and again they always start to sound very repetitive, 
and you want to break away from that. So basically what you do here is just go to the browser and load up the, uh, the actual sequence. And uh, let me go here to my documents. This is where I have everything, Drumlib. Okay, and on my Drumlib, I have my drum MIDI breaks. That's the folder right there. So there, there are two things that you need to load up. So one of the things is the actual sequence, is that one? And it's gonna tell you where you wanna load that sequence to. So it doesn't show right here on my MPC Touch, but I can have a look at on the screen of the, uh, of the computer. And I'm gonna load this into sequence number 10. And then there's another thing that you wanna load as well. You wanna load the sounds because it only loads up the MIDI data once you load up the sequence then you have to load up the program as well with the sounds. So let's load that as well. Let's get back to the main. For this to kind of work, the best way for this to work is the way I work actually. I always have the same drum, I always have the drum sounds into one program. Okay, I have my snares, my hi-hats, everything goes into the, to the drum program and everything is recorded on the same track. So this workflow, this fits my workflow. I don't know how you guys work. If you divide your sounds into several tracks, I kind of prefer to work always in the same track. The drums always in the same track. You know, the MPC allows you to have uh, a channel strip for each pad. So it's, it's really, uh, you know, I don't see the reason to be separating my sounds into several tracks. This is my workflow and this kind of fits my workflow as well. But this is how I do it. Let's get into the sequence. We go sequence number 10. You have those drums. Okay, cool. So what you do now, basically, uh, again, you want to solo for you to listen to each individual track. And you can just, you can start, you know, picking bits from the sequence from this track straight away and start putting it into your, incorporating it into your, um, your project. And let's have a look at that. So... You know, you can take bits from anywhere here. You can just select areas from here or right at the end. What you do, you can select any any track. Let's, have, let's listen to this one. Okay, maybe not this one. Let's listen to this one. Okay, we're gonna choose this section right here, okay? So let me just zoom in a little bit here. I wanna grab these MIDI nodes that I need, okay? So I'm gonna copy it back to the main. Let's go to the sequence that we are working on. Let's go to the drum track that we are working on. Okay, so uh, just go here to the grid. Let me zoom out a little bit. And what we're going to do, we're going to cut this end right here. Okay, cut. We're going to touch at the top, so we put the playhead where we want to paste and paste. And there we go. We have those MIDI notes in there. Now, the only thing is that if you have a look here, the um, this drum program, only has three sounds uh, and the drum program that has the MIDI notes has more sounds than this. If you have a look here. It has the tom, the open hi-hat, the ride. Okay, so we need to put these sounds into the, uh, you know, you can choose your own sounds. This really, this is down to you guys. You can choose your own sounds, but just for, uh, just to show you guys how, how it works, we do need to fill in 
those blank i blank uh drum pads we need to put some sounds into them so we're going to do that now so we have a uh, have the high tom mid tom low tom in, in these three then you have the open hi-hat the ride and the crash so let's go here to the um to the drums program so this one has the uh open hi-hat this one has the ride there we go high tom mid tom low tom and the crash cool now we have our sounds everything set up let's listen to the beat It sounds cool and uh, the only thing that you notice straight away is that um, yeah some of the levels are different and you need to be aware of that as well when you are doing this so you need to uh, lower some of these notes And that's it it's it's basically a lifesaver you know it saves you a lot of time and you know it's just uh just a great form for you to uh go ahead take some ideas from sequences and put them together and see if they work if they don't work you just go back to the uh to that uh sequence again check another track see if there if, if you find another another track that sounds uh you know that you want to use and just put it in there you know it, it does it does increase the life in your beat sometimes when you have that repetitive beat and uh, you might want to have that the beat you know have a feel or something to change the rhythm or just to to introduce the chorus or to introduce another section of the song it's just really helpful for you to go and take those bits put it into the uh to the beat and that's it so this is a workflow tip uh, you guys can go ahead and download that sequence for yourselves and use it or you know um, you can create one yourselves you know just go ahead and create some uh some breaks some fills for you do it with the bass as well do it with some percussion you know whatever it's just a great idea so whenever you are working on a beat you can actually you can upload a sequence to your project a sequence can contain a lot of things that you can use to copy the midi and put it onto your beat now that's the idea i hope that you guys like this workflow tip that i uh, have in this video for you guys once again thank you very much for subscribing and following the channel and i'll see you on the next video okay take care bye